love life um so you know i'm quite adventurous Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoki and I'm a Gemini, which is why this channel is called Zoki the Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. I feel like we haven't spoken in ages. I feel like we haven't sat down together and spoken in a, about any topic in a very long time because, you know, life has been life And essentially, this video is like a life update. Not real life update, but, you know, kind of to talk you guys through how I've been feeling these couple months. It's, you know, we're a few months into the year. And I thought, you know what? Let me sit down with my YouTube peeps, catch you guys, you know, spill, you know, whatever little tea. I don't know if it even qualifies as tea. Anyways, before I go into a rant, make sure you like comment and subscribe and stay tuned and yeah let's let's get into this so there's no real structure to this video no real structure whatsoever i am here to just talk the funny thing is when it comes to life updates here i normally do like a q a version where obviously i'm essentially answering questions out of all the questions i receive i normally select questions that cover different aspects of my life um but now, yeah, today I'm literally just talking. Um, in my head, I'm thinking, where should I start? I think, you know, it would make sense to really start with one of the main things I wanted to do this year, which is to get back into going to church. Um, you guys know I'm a Christian. I don't know if you know, actually. I am a Christian. Like, but I was more so, you know, like a lot of Nigerians are Christians because we're kind of like forced to go to church when we were younger. And we know God exists, but we didn't really have, I, well, let me not actually generalize for me i don't feel like i really had a relationship with god it was more so like when my mom told me to pray i'll pray like i knew how to hold a prayer i knew how to deliver a prayer but whether i really felt connected with what i was saying is another thing and this year i felt like last year for me was a really good year and i was like listen i need to start giving thanks back do you get what i mean i know god exist and like there's there's times i've called on god and he's answered me not even there's times he answers my prayers do you know what i mean even like when i think they're not answered they are answered do you get what i mean so going back to church is one of the main things i wanted to do and i actually done a tiktok here and in the tiktok i was just like guys oh, i want to go back to going to church i want it to be this this that i'm scared of you know i don't want to go to a cult I don't want to go to a cult because I ain't got time. I'm not the kind of person that can happily stay in a cultish kind of environment where you call the uh, uh, pastor daddy. BFFR, I'm so sorry. If you are watching this video and you call your pastor daddy, I'm so sorry. I'm going to need you to be FFR right now. But anyway, so yeah, so there's a lot of things that I just didn't want in a church. And somehow, somehow... I stumbled across this church that was recommended not as much as some other churches this church wasn't recommended nowhere near as some other ones but i attended and guys when i tell you ever since it's not even like the church it's just the whole feeling of the whole notion of feeling belong like i belong to something not the church but i just feel like my relationship with god has strengthened so much more and just hearing like you know every week is teachings and like talking about different aspects of the bible and different aspects of life and that's one thing the church does like they match the practical with fear not match the practical practical with scripture with me i can't just go to a church that does scripture scripture because i'm just like okay cool i hear it but how does that relate to my life and modern day society but with them they lead with like okay practically this happens you know this is going on in the world you know like they'll refer to things that are going on like literally the news is circulating it and then they will match up with oh you think that was just a standalone the scripture actually spoke about it the scripture has warned you and i'm like oh this is tea this is the information i need in my life and i feel like you know i've been able to find a church which really matches you know my kind of vibes and the, the way my outlook on life and i think that's so important because it's kind of like fed through in all different aspects of my life like career wise um health wise like just generally i think i've always said to myself yeah i want to start walking into being a better version of myself and if i said to myself the other day am i changing and 
I don't think you I don't think I'm changing I think I'm just evolving to being the person I've always wanted to be even with traveling obviously you guys have seen like there's been quite a few not not that many but like two or three travel videos and when I first started this channel that is actually one of the main things I actually wanted to do like regular travel but I don't think I ever had the confidence to do so I don't think I had the tenacity and in all fairness I don't think I, had, I, I didn't have the finances and I feel like now that life is kind of you know life is life in but in a positive way let me take that leap of faith and that's why i said to myself this year literally at the start of january i was like this year is for traveling i want to travel i don't have any children i don't have that many responsibilities so you know let me like obviously you guys know i'm staying within eu i'm staying within the uh the european union i ain't got time to be doing expensive expensive holidays but nonetheless it's not even about where i go it's more the fact of going having the confidence to go having the confidence to kind of push myself out there but being in a different environment and an environment that i'm not necessarily used to but that listen one of the main things i said and i even recommend it to everyone that's watching do what makes you happy that's 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 that do what makes you happy i think above anything for the past three months and for the rest of the year that is what i'm prioritizing happiness um whether that's getting my hair done multiple times whether that's getting my nails done no my lashes done no uh what um eating more healthy or, do -do 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 -do, or doing this exercise i don't even know like in every which way it makes you happy or going out or traveling or you know buying new clothes whichever way makes you happy it's so important to prioritize your happiness because i've been like i i don't i'll i'll be trying shit yeah if i came on here and said oh yeah i wasn't happy for years but i would say i have never experienced the kind of happiness that i'm experiencing now ever before and i yeah i i just never i've always been kind of like in a mindset where i'm okay or like maybe pretending happy or i think now that you guys will probably notice I don't necessarily post as much. That's simply because I'm literally just zoning into myself, guys. Like, I love you guys and I want to bring you guys on a journey. But th this year, is like, I think last year, I really prioritised content creation. Like, I wanted to grow my channel, grow my name, grow socials. And that's, that's something I still want to do. But this year, I want to grow Zogi. Like, I want to like i want to be able to achieve all of the like this year i know it sounds stupid in it yeah but this year is giving my childhood the childhood version of me all of her desires like all of the things she wanted all of the things that she desired or, or like just i don't know like in all ways like physically like spiritually financially in all ways it's kind of like I don't know, maybe I would say it's repairing trauma. It's not even just trauma though. Um, but it's just like doing all doing things that I've always wanted to do and not making excuses. Just doing it. Do you get it? Because if I, I can sit down and talk myself, well, that's one thing. One thing about me, I will talk myself out of doing something. One thing for sure, two things for certain. I will talk myself out of doing something and this year that's what i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna talk myself out of doing things regardless of what people's opinions are regardless of you know whether people f think it's the right thing or not the right thing to do i don't give a heck i don't like i've been not really caring what people say but this year my sisters and brothers this year is a little different this year i can't lie obviously you know i love you guys in it and i'll always respect you guys opinion but this year is not even about zogi the gemini it's just about me like do you get what i mean i feel like if and i said to myself if not now when I said I'm going to do this, I'm going to try and live this life, I'm going to travel, I'm going to try and be, you know, embody like a better version of myself. I'll be saying I'm going to do it soon, 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 but soon is when. And I think 2020 for me has literally been like now, like, do you know what I mean? And so if I had to wrap up and say the main things so far is like prioritising happiness and repairing 
things that got me to where I am today. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, strengthening things that got me to where I am today because there's a lot of tenacity. There's a lot of courage and a lot of things, like, I love about my personality that has got me to where I am today, where I'm talking to you right now. Do you know what I mean? But there's a lot of things that has also made me the person I am. For that, maybe more in, like, a negative way. Like, things that... Parts of my personalities and my outlook that I do need to like correct and improve and like just to live a better quality of life. So essentially, yeah, that is oh love life. I forgot. So okay, career-wise, life is good. Like still in the same job, very much happy. I'm a PMO manager, so that's a project management office manager. Career-wise is good. Um physically, physically, I'm losing weight. It was about time anyway. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Physically, it's just like... I said it before. I will never do like a dedicated video where I'm sitting down and say, Oh, yeah, guys, this is how I gain weight. This is how I lose weight. Because that's not me. If you want to know what to do, how to start losing weight, how to burn the weight, I would say, and I'm so sorry, you ain't going to like this, the answer lies within you. Everything that you see out there, you know. Do you get what I mean? And I said it before, right? And I only say this. I, I kind of mentioned this before in my last video. If you're fat, you know why you're fat. And you may not like me saying that. And this is me. Com it's coming from a fat girl to another potentially big girl, big guy, whatever. If you have a bad relationship with food, and you know when I'm talk talking about like repairing things, bro, I'm fat because there's so much fuckeries that I haven't been able to deal with over the years and now now and with other things i'm able to start tackling that so being big like there's no magic answer where i'm gonna tell you oh yeah go on go on go on, go on swallow this this and you'll look down kg in two months obviously life don't work like that do you know what i mean more time regardless of anything here yeah, when you kind of have like a bad relationship with things even and i feel like when it comes to like drug addiction and alcoholism a lot of times they try to find out what happened in your childhood what made you have this reliance on you know this substance da, 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 da. and you know there's that help but when it comes to food like there's not people just see fat people that are oh, you're lazy but no one really tries to find out why do you have such a bad relationship with food like was the food used as a coping mechanism what trauma led you to do da 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 no one really wants to be helping big people doctors will look at you and go tell you to go and lose weight so that's why i'll say if you want to find a way to lose weight or you want to improve your overall health you need to find out what put you where like what is making you in a position you are now only you can answer that because if i call, if i told you to go and be taking a zen pick you know that's there fat fender um flipping got go, be jumping up and down in the gym or is it uh, um eating a salad every day or um flipping gastric or whatever the balloon or the sleeve you you know the options are there anyway i know the options are there but it's just about finding out what works best for you and what you can actually maintain in the long term because it's not about just losing weight and boom but that way it can come back so it's dealing with the long-term thing things that have kind of like or things that trigger you like finding out what are your trigger moments what makes you want to do like or i don't know like eat something or binge and something because you know I mean? me i feel like that's the exact same thing i've been having to ask myself because i do have like slight binge eating disorder which is once again things that i'm kind of like you know trying to work through so there, there's that so there's the first and last time please thank you please. it's okay um i think there's anything else love life um so you know i'm quite adventurous as 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 you guys know but now i'm joking um right now love life is it's okay um there's someone i'm talking to and it's going well um, but the, you know, the main thing here when it comes to love life that is really hard for me is that I don't want guys to know, I don't know why I'm whispering, but I don't want guys to know I'm a content creator because like you guys already know, like the, I, I told you guys about one instance where the guy like was watching all my videos and I just feel like guys, they don't need, 
I just feel like men don't need that kind of ammunition where they're able to study you. And for me, I want you to kind of like take in what I say, what I do. Don't go and be watching my videos and be thinking you know me. Do you get what I mean? Because you don't. Like you have to match up with the person. You have to find out more about me. So that's one of the biggest things that I'm kind of struggling with right now. Because it's just like I feel in some ways I'm being dishonest because I'm not really sure telling him a whole aspect of my life. Do you get what I mean? But at the end of the day i feel like i'm doing it to protect me if we get to the situation if we get to a bit where it's like oh no i need to tell him it's not like a big deal but it is kind of a big deal do you know what i mean because everyone knows how much i love content creation i love my youtube people i love my tiktok people so it's like if it's someone that i'm with like romantically not telling them that i'm zogi the gemini 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 it's obviously weird but you know i'm gonna just see how it goes but so far guys hinge hinge be hinging sometimes you're gonna meet some weirdos you will meet weirdos you will speak with people like did they drop you as a child that's the question you'll be asking them you would want to ask them but i feel like you know when it comes to like dating online da, 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 that has been the most successful that for me has been the most successful anyways i'm gonna wrap up the video here because i feel like i've kind of touched all grounds that i spoke about me physically spiritually emotionally all in all right now i'm at i'm in a very good place mentally and as i said this year i'm really trying to improve all aspects of my life um and yeah i hope you guys stay with me on this journey um obviously there are things that i will disclose and there are things that i won't um because he's life i'm only human i'm only human <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching the video guys if you've liked it make sure you comment and let me know your thoughts and stuff anyway thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye guys